to my YouTube channel, Makeup Mummy. So today is quite an exciting video for me. I'm going to be showing you what I recently purchased from Makeup Revolution and I'm going to be doing some swatches to let you see what the colours look like and what they feel like on the skin so that you can make an informed decision as to whether that's a product that you would like to use or not. So let's delve right in. I'm going to start with two little gift bags that I bought that were in total $1.99 a piece. So let's start by showing you what they arrived in. This is the bag, it's a black mesh bag with the rose gold brand name on the front and the little zipper here as well. So the products arrived in this. So this is quite handy again if you're traveling, um, just chuck it in your bag. So in the first little one we got a blusher and a strobe light balm. Now this is quite popular at the moment, strobing. And this is in the shade Euphoria. So I'm just going to swatch this one first for you. So what it looks like is these are just minis, but you've got your product in here and you've got the clear lid here, which again has just got the brand name on there. So let's give this a swatch for you. So this is what it looks like on the finger. Lovely, lovely. So I'm just going to do that here for you. So again, you maybe have not seen it in the light. I'm hoping you will. Oh, there we go, look at that. How pretty is that? So this is more like a gold shimmery colour. Almost monochrome, if you like. Sort of changes colour in the light. This is amazing. I used a little bit of this today and all I did was just apply on my finger and just lightly jab into your cheek. Jab? Jab? Dab into the cheek, just like that. And like I said, the colour payoff is amazing. That's just Stunning, absolutely lovely. And the other little product we got in there was a blusher, which again is really, really nice. So let me see, I'll show you. So this is actually quite a pinky color blush. I was a little bit like, mm, maybe a bit too bright, but it's actually lovely when on the skin. So I'm just gonna do a swatch of that for you. These feel really, really soft, very finely milled. So let's just put that next to that right there. So as you can see, that is such a pretty pink colour, isn't it? Really, really nice. And I'm just going to do this so you can see like, if we were blending it out. So yeah, again, really, really nice colour. So these are very blendable. They're also buildable. So depending on how bright you want your blusher to look, you'll achieve it with this sort of colour here. This is a really nice colour, I'm loving it. Like I said, the products are so nice, so soft. So you're getting two products, you also got a little brush with this, but I don't know what I did with those. Um, so $1.99 for two of these, plus your brush and your little gift bag it arrived in. Fantastic price. And my other little package was the Contour Jewels. So you got this product, plus a brush, and again, it came in the same gift bag that those two did. So I'm just going to open this up for you. So again, you've got your products in here. So this is your contour powder and this is your highlight. And this highlight is sort of like a pinky mauve highlight. Again, I really like the colour of this. And again, package is just similar to everything else. So you've got your clear window so you can see your product. And on the back is obviously what's in the palette. So let's give this a swatch. I've used this today also. Um, so I'll do the contour powder first. See if you can see that there on my finger. And then we'll do the swatch here. So as you can see, that's the colour there you're getting. And again, you can just keep building on this. For me, it was just a natural sort of like, just going with my natural contour line anyway. So I didn't want it too dark, but again, Depending on how you like it, you could just build these up. And again, really soft feeling. Loving, loving, loving. So I'm just going to do this highlight for you. So that's what it looks like on the finger here. Lovely, pretty. I'm just going to go down here. So as you can see there, that's a really nice pinky mauve colour, this one, compared to this one, which is like really your gold shimmery colour. So I would highly recommend all of these products that I'm showing you today. There isn't much, to be honest, that I've not loved so far. So that's always a bonus. So again, this was $1.99. You got your product, a brush, 
and you've got your little travel bag. So altogether four pounds and I've got three products plus two brushes and two bags. So that's not too bad. So yeah, loving, loving. And like that, these are the mini sizes. So again, excellent if you're traveling or going anywhere. So swiftly moving on, I bought two little blushes. And again, these were just a pound each. And I got two different shades. One was Now, which is this one. And I got this one, which is Love. So this more your pinky colour and this is more sort of your nudie colour. I'm just going to open these up so I can show you guys. So this is what you get. So you get your clear lid and obviously your product in this really nice white sleek packaging. And across the powder itself, you get the name Revolution, which is pretty cute I think. Let's just make sure my hands clean. So this is what this one looks like right here. So this is now and I'm just going to go right in against this highlight here. How pretty is this? Really nice. This is more I would say like a springtime summertime look. So if you're going something that's not too bling bling this would definitely be the blusher for you. I absolutely love this. And like I said, they're so soft. They're just, the powders are just amazing and easily blended out. So the next one I'm going to show you in swatch is Love. So again, same with the last one. The brand name is right across the powder, your white packaging and your clear lid. And clean finger. Use my little pinky. So this is what this one looks like. I don't know if you can see that. So like, this is more sort of like your nudie blush compared to the first one I've showed you there. Yeah, this is definitely more nudie. Whereas this one's more like your pinky. So this I would say, if you're going for a really natural look, I would say go for this sort of blush here. Whereas this one I would say be more a glammed up look. Again, you could use a simple daytime look with the pinky one, but I would probably steer towards the more natural looking blush so again amazing amazing products so again a pound each for those you cannot complain at all and like i said they just glide on finely milled product no kickback from these whatsoever so i would highly recommend again i'm loving the product here now the next things I'm going to be showing you is lipsticks. I bought a few of these actually. So the first ones I'm going to show you are the Makeup Revolution ones. Now these were a pound each, which is a complete steal, isn't it? And this is what they look like. So you'll have to excuse the stickers on them because I haven't taken any of these off. So it's just like your sleek black packaging and you've got the rose gold writing, which is just saying Makeup Revolution. And on the bottom end here, we've got what shades they are. So I'm going to swatch this one first for you, which is Scandalous Crime. So this is what that colour looks like. Isn't it beautiful? So let's just do a wee swatch of it here on my wrist. These are so, so creamy, so creamy. And the colour is just amazing. The colour payoff is just fab. So that's what that looks like there, Scandalous Crime. And like I said, so creamy, glide on. I'm actually wearing one of the lipsticks in the nude box. And I have to say, your lips feel really hydrated. So I'm loving again so far. And we'll swatch this one, which is the Vampire look. So again, this would definitely be teamed up with a really good smoky glam eye. Um, so that's what this one looks like against there. So again, we'll just swatch on my arm here. I am loving this colour. I never used to go for anything as bright as these colours, but I'm starting to really experiment and I'm loving how they look. So this one here, I haven't actually told you what this one is, have I? So this one is Collection Rebel with a Cause. I know I'm going to put them in the best area for you to see, but isn't that really, really nice? Really nice. So again, loving these, pound each for these. And I just love how they look because I'm a girl who likes, if they're sitting in my box, I like to see what colours. So it's easy to select the where you're applying makeup. Or if I've got them standing up, again, same reason, so you can see what colour you're using. You're not having a faff about looking. So the next ones I got was a box of five. Now, you get five lipsticks for five pounds. So technically, a pound each. And again, you can't complain with that. So this is what they look like and this is their size. And this is from Freedom. Now, this is Makeup Revolution's sister company they've got two sister companies i love makeup range and freedom so i'm just going to be swatching you so as you can see sleep black packaging and on the bottom you've got what colors they are 
and this I'm sure is the bear collection you get quite a few collections you get your vamp collection your pink collection bear collection and I think there's another one but I can't remember for sure so the first one I'm going to swatch for you today is Naked Naked I kind of like how I sing to my little girl when she's getting ready for the bath so this is what that looks like here I'm actually going to do my swatches up here so it's easier for you guys to see Isn't that really, really nice? That is so nice. So this is Naked Real, this one. So that's what it looks like against the skin. Let me just go like that for you. That is really nice. This here is probably more pink here than this one. So like I would say this is probably more of a peachy nude and this is more of your pinky nudes i'm loving both colors though so easily aware and like i said the glide on and the feel very hydrating on the lips which is good these lipsticks won't dry them out at all they don't feel sticky they don't feel heavy you actually don't feel like you're wearing any lipstick to be honest so that is a bonus so the next one i'm going to show you today is naked truth this is quite a pale nude i would say Still a lovely colour though, so let's just see. So nice. So yeah, the this one here is more pinky and these ones are sort of more peachy nudes, peachy brown. I'm loving the colours though and I'm just loving how well they work. And even just the packaging. When the box first arrived, the box looked tiny and I thought, hmm. But when you bring them out, you're getting an amazing amount of product for it. I'll show you when you... So you're getting like a proper size lipstick there. And like I said, they're so nice and so easy to use. So my next one I'm going to show you is Naked Raw. So let's just pick this one up again. This is another light nude. Let's just shade it, like just swatch again on here. Aren't they lovely? They're really nice. So these are quite peachy, but I'd say this is more peachy pink, this one. Whereas this one's more your pink nude, peachy there, and then this is like your peachy pink. So again, the some of the colours do look very similar, but you can definitely see the difference there. So yeah, I would highly recommend these. They're just, they're, they're beautiful. Really nice, and you can't complain the price tag either. So the last one is the one that I'm wearing on my lips today. I thought this went really well with sort of like the eyeshadow I've got on, which I'll be getting to in a minute. So you just have to excuse the top of that because obviously it has been used. And I did swatch this one yesterday when it arrived. So that's what this one looks like. I have probably got about two layers on my lips at the moment and I have to say I put my makeup on at about 20 past half past 11 and they're still looking pretty darn good and like I said no stickiness nothing like that I haven't eaten anything yet so I'll be able to see how it wears when I'm eating but I've had a cup of tea and it stayed well so that's the lipsticks so again the makeup revolution ones which were these two here which was the Scandalous Crime and the Collection Rebel Without Cause. Those two were a pound and the box that I got was obviously a fiver. So again, that's working out at just a pound each lipstick, which again is an amazing price. So I'm moving on to another one of my fave products. I've already got two of these, which I think is the iconic two and three palette. So this one here is the Redemption Palette Romantic Smoked. I absolutely love the colours in this, and this is what I used today. So as you can see, pale lilacs, shimmers, and a rich plum colour there on the outer corners. Again, loving the product. So the packaging, let's start with that. It's just the plastic packaging with your window there so you can see and on the back you've got what's in the eyeshadows as well as the palette name loving these I have to say and these were like four pound now I got all of this out of super drug so you could pick these up no problem these are what the colors look like aren't they lovely so you're ranging from sort of your shimmery ivories here you're heading into your bronzy pinks here 
And then these are like your mauve purpley colours just here. You've got one, I would say, taupe colour there. And then you've got your greys and rich purples. And then again, another really nice ivory colour here. So I'm just going to swatch some of these for you just to show you how they look on the skin. And I'm just going to swatch the ones that I used today, as well as maybe another couple, just to kind of give you an idea of what they look like. So I'll do four of these for you at the minute. I'll just put a palette there. So as you can see, that's what they are looking like on the finger. So I'm just going to swatch these up here. So this is sort of the lilac-y colour that I used for the crease area. And this here is that rich purple and then my two shimmers that I used so I don't know if you can see those on camera guys but that's what they look like there so nice like I said the pigment is really 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 good the colors are so rich there's a little fallout when you're putting them on the brush but nothing that would put you off of buying it no fallout though on like under the eye when you're applying it just is a kick up from when you're putting the shadow onto the brush and like I said so easily blended not a problem with blending the colours are buildable so depending on the depth that you want you can build up to that no problem which I like I don't like going in too heavy because then it makes it harder to blend out so that's why I like to go in with just a light hand first and then I can blend it up well build it up to how I want it so I would say this is an absolute steal for me. I'm loving these palettes. I have to say I can't get enough of them. I'm actually placing an order soon with Makeup Revolution again to order some of the highlights and a few other things that I really like the look of. So I'm going to get that and once I do, I'll unpackage it with you guys so you can see what I've gotten. So that's everything for Makeup Revolution today that I purchased. I've got a few other products that I just want to go over before I finish up here today. A few other products that I'm actually right in love with at the moment. So I'm going to talk to you about the Pro Conceal from LA Girl. I purchased this not that long ago, maybe last week. And I ordered the Classic Ivory. Now when it arrived, I looked at it and thought, hmm, maybe a bit dark for my skin. Um, but let's show you what it looks like first. So you've got your brush here at the top, which I love for applying concealer. And obviously your packaging here so it looks relatively light but when I put it on my hand I thought that's a bit dark and um, so I'm just going to show you today what that looks like I'm going to swatch that here you know this this product is so buttery so creamy the coverage is full on and it's so easy to apply and it's like a twisty lid once you've used it just what I would do probably is clean that brush off so it's not going hard and yucky so you see, that's what it looks like there. Now on camera, that looks pretty dead on, but when you see it here in real life, it's a wee bit more pinkier than I would go for. But I'm just gonna blend it out so you can see. It is super blendable. And the feeling is amazing. Actually, you know, when I see that on my hand, it's actually not that bad. I still think it's slightly too dark. So when I go back, I'm gonna order porcelain rather than the classic ivory, because it's just slightly too deep for my skin because I am like a ghost, as you can tell here. But I absolutely love the product. It is completely amazing and I would highly recommend it. And it's only like £4. I'm sure I got that off a of Beauty Bay. So £4, you can't complain with that. And it's an amazing concealer. And another thing that I wanted to try was the LA Girl Matte Finish Lipstick, which I have in the shade Fleur, as they call it, Fleur, if that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if it's not. So this is like your liquid lipstick. So this is going to stay on for a long time. I've used this before and it stayed on all day and I didn't even have to really apply anything else to it. It's just a really nice, rich, nudie brown colour. I absolutely love it. And this lipstick goes with any look, whether you're going for the natural or the glam. This will team up really nice with either of. So again, in love with that product. And last but certainly not least is the Mario Badescu facial oil with aloe and herbs and rose water. And like I said, it just smells of flowers, roses. And I just spritz this all over my face for if I'm needing any hydration or 
I also use it for setting my makeup to be honest and like I said I'm completely in love with this product. This comes in two sizes so this is the four fluid ounces that I've got and I think it comes in the eight or slightly more but this one I think was £7.50 and the bigger bottle is £11. So not much difference in price. I think definitely because I'm liking the product I would probably go for the bigger size in the future but I thought just for trying out I'll go for the smaller bottle just to see how I get on but I have to say I'm absolutely loving it and because I suffer from dry skin anyway this is an ideal product so guys that is what I've gotten so far in my revolution haul I definitely will be doing another one of these in the future because like I said I'm putting in quite a big order soon so stay tuned for that and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and remember to please subscribe if you haven't already and we shall be seeing you next time and I hope that these swatches have helped you make a decision as to whether you like it or not or if it's just something you want to try out that you haven't done before so thanks for watching guys and we shall see you in the next video bye <music>